Hey everybody and welcome back to Winding Away to, to Winding Away with Corey and Ray. <laughs> winding Away to Eternity. <laughs> oh, winding Away with too many glasses of wine and Corey and Ray. So thanks for joining us. Here we are. And we're going to talk to you today um, about a French bottle of wine that I'm not going to be able to say. So I'm going to let Ray tell you a little bit about the name and then I'll tell you about the wine. Go ahead, say it. It is Le Hautes de Bastide Syrah 2019. See what I mean? Um, so it is a Syrah from France that I picked up at Trader Joe's. And this, when she says picked up, she did pay for it. Don't, don't, I did. I don't want Corey. Picked up pay. and took to the cashier. Um, this one was $14 a bottle. She didn't shove this down her bra and like head for the side door. And it is from southern France. And it is 14% alcohol. So it's a little on the higher end. Which is what Corey looks for. I like Syrah. That's one of the ones that I like. Some people are... You like 14%. Some people are, you know... They just don't like Syrah. I love Syrah. It's, it's one of the ones that I liked from the very beginning when I started drinking red wine. Beautiful color. Syrah is like if Cabernet and Pinot Noir had a baby. Is that what you tell people when you describe it for them? That's what I'm telling you. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't know how to describe it to people. And then there's Petite Syrah. So what's the big difference between the two? They're two different grapes. I mean, Petite Syrah is spelled S-I-R-A-H, mm -hmm. and this is spelled S-Y-R-A-H. It's like the difference between Pinot Grigio or Pinot Gris. You they're know, they're, they're similar, but they're like cousins. Same family, if, cousins. If you will, you know, they're similar. Um, so what did you think? Oh, I love French Syrah. I mean, uh, Syrah is a go-to of mine for really a long time. Uh, I think it's a great flavor. It's not overly heavy. Uh, like you said earlier, it's got a nice little punch, 14%. And, I mean, it's, you know, it's a great bottle to sit back a with. A little spiciness to it, but sure. it's not, you know, not and too I, much. And I would say and that's like more that. common in the French Syrahs. Like, mm -hmm. you'll find uh, Washington makes great Syrahs, uh, California. Mm -hmm. But those ones don't have that spicy quality that right. that you're pointing out here in this one. That's that's really indicative of a French one. So if you if you like that spice, this is something you're going to want to try. I don't know. I mean, I checked on Wine Searcher today in Vivino. This other stores carry it. You can find it other places. I found it at Trader Joe's, so it's not a Trader Joe's exclusive. Um, you can find it other places. I don't know where. I'm sure it's not at every single liquor store. You probably can't. You don't have it in your store. So, I mean. It's... I have French Syrah. I oh, just don't see? Ha I so don't... you can get a French Syrah, just maybe not this exact. Yeah, I, I, this particular one, no. But I do carry French Syrahs. So if you want to try French Syrah, which is a little bit different, a little spicy. Um, something new, if you're a Syrah lover. Or just say, hey, I want to try something different. Go out and get yourself a French Syrah. Stop at NJ Wine Cellar and talk to Ray and say, that episode you did, I'm looking for a French Syrah. Lead me to it. Say we oui to coming and getting a French Syrah. Now's the time to do it. It's the beginning of the summer and, you know, you're going to be out. I think out. this would go really well with like a charcuterie board, you know, mm -hmm. like some strong cheese. Or at a, uh, a barbecue with burgers. Prosciutto. And salami, like, oh, mm -hmm. this would be so good with that. Sure would. So, you know. Little fruit, some honey, you know, like. I think he's hungry. But it's it's really good. And it's not something that. And I'm sorry, that, how much was this again? I, $14. Not something that people generally try. So it's really something to go out, step outside the box a little roll bit. Roll the dice. Grab yourself a French Syrah. And, uh, you know, I would highly recommend, you know, having some kind of food with it. Yeah, for sure. But I don't think you would have to. I mean, you could certainly just sit back and enjoy this. So, try something new, as we always say. And uh, tell them Corey and Ray told you to do it. And Willy Wong. You have to watch the last episode to get that joke. And hopefully you did. 
And um, we'll see you again soon, the next episode. Don't forget to tune in. And hopefully we'll be back in the studio soon. I mean, a lot of the... Uh, Fingers crossed. You know, a lot of the mandates are getting lifted. So uh, hopefully before long we'll be back in the studio with real guests, real people. Out of the Nancy Ann Mogenna Studios, even though we've loved it here. Right. And we, and we thank her so much for hosting us temporarily. I mean, look at those flowers. Are we going to get that in Princeton? Home. No. No. So we, we thank her for our home away from home COVID pandemic studio. And we thank you for watching and joining us during this whole little... And you can pay her off with wine. Yeah. <laughs> That's been the easy part. And we'll see you next episode, next time, wherever that may be. Next Bat Channel. And until then, good friends. Great wine. Fantastic life. <laughs>